Hey guys, Mrs. Bagley here. Today's lesson is on spatial awareness, so where your body is in space. So what you need is chalk or painters or masking tape if you're going to be inside, and a balloon. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with drawing a square on the ground. My daughter has decorated her square. The larger the square, the easiest, it, the easier, excuse me, it is for your students. So you're going to have your son or daughter stay inside the square. And Evie, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to bring your hands out, hands ready, arms ready is the cue I give all my students, and you're going to catch the balloon. All right, Evie, catch the balloon in three, two, one, catch. Nice job, Evie. Can I have that balloon back? And the next thing you're going to do is you're going to bring your hands up, hands up, and you're going to hit the balloon to me. Four, three, two, hit. Nice job. So you're going to keep staying inside that square, Evie, and I want you to bring one hand up. Now some of our friends need help with um, just bringing one hand up. They love to bring both, but when you're bringing one hand up, you're disassociating. So you're going to hit the balloon with one hand. In three, two, one. Okay, you're going to hit the ball to me with one hand. Good job. And finally, you're going to toss and catch the ball. So you're going to hold this ball and th toss it in the air and catch it. And ideally, you want your son or daughter to stay within uh, the square, but we're working with some, some big wind gusts here. So that was great, Evie. Um, great job doing upper body, and you can do as many repetitions of the sequence as you want. You can move through and do four to five repetitions of each skill, or you can go just through and do one and repeat that a few times. Excellent work.